Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in this tutorial I'll show you a bunch of tips and tricks on how to create a house in Revit that looks like this American traditional style of wood framing house. Now, as far as architecture goes, if I make any mistakes, please feel free to correct me in the comment section below. I'm from Eastern Europe, so we kind of have a bit different method of constructing our buildings. I'll show you how to create these columns on the porch as well as the railing on the porch. Then I'll show you how to create the wall material so you can get this wooden facade effect. And then I'll do these corner elements on the facade that make everything look more realistic. And then I'll do the doors and windows that have, that have this kind of wood white outline that's going around. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. So let's get started. I'm going to do the columns first. So I'll do two, I'll go to level two, which is porch level for that. And now let's add the columns. So CL is the shortcut for column. And you can see here we have only concrete and steel columns, but we want to have some wooden columns. So I'm going to go here to load family jump back a folder, go into metric. And here I'm just going to go to wood and timber column. And I'll just choose one of these over here, smaller ones, perhaps this one, go OK. And now for the height, I'm going to leave it at height and go to level three. And now I'm just going to place one column here, one column here, one here, and one here as well. Now I'm going to change this from level three to unconnected. And for the height, I'm just going to put in 100 centimeters, and I'm just going to place two columns over here. These will be columns for the railing. Now, I prefer doing railing like this through columns and, and beams because it's a bit easier than creating a new railing family, and we have quite a short rail, so that's not necessary. So I'm just going to type in DI for dimension, and then I'm just going to dimension this, these two columns and just hit EQ to equalize these distances. And now I can delete this, just go unconstrained, doesn't matter. And then you can just select these two columns and use copy to copy it all the way to the end. Just make sure that multiple is selected here. Okay, so once this is done, if we go into 3D, it looks kind of like that. And you can select these four taller columns and go attach top base and attach them to the roof. I'm going to go back into level two and let's create the beam. So I'm just going to go here to structure, beam, or you can type in BM for shortcut. So just BM and you get a beam. But if you go here to properties, you can see we only have this steel beam loaded in. So I'm just going to go to load family, drop a folder back, go into metric and find structural framing. Open up wood and go with timber open it up and let's use the same one, the 140 by 140. And here, let's just place it like this. So you just place it on the ground and you go here to find to see it. And I have placed this one accidentally here. So if I go into 3D, I can delete this one. And you can see here is our framing. Now we need to bring it up a bit. So I'm going to go here to start level offset and end level offset and change both of them to 100 centimeters and this to zero, go apply, and there you go. And now we can kind of change these to go a bit down because we don't need them intersecting with this. So just here for top offset, go with 86. And yeah, that looks a lot better. Now let's do the bottom one, the bottom railing. So you can just go here into, again, a level two create another beam. So just go BM for beam. And then I'm just going to go here to edit type and make it a bit smaller. So I'm just going to duplicate and do this one, I don't know, 140 by 80. And here just change the D or the height to eight centimeters. Go OK. And let's just place it over here. And go into 3D again. And you can see it, it's over here. And now we can offset it by perhaps 20 centimeters. So 20 here, 20 here, go apply. And there you go. Now, 
to finish off this railing we have this kind of a an X over here and the easiest way to do that is through a family now you can do it through columns and kind of do try to connect this with that but it's too much work and it's quite unnecessary so I'm just going to go here to south elevation and you get something like this now this doesn't look right so you just change the, this to fine the detail level and now you can see it looks a, a lot better and now you can just go here to architecture component open up the drop menu and go model in place let's just call it generic model leave the name at generic model set the work plane at pick a plane and let's pick I don't know like this plane that's kinda perpendicular to the camera and use an extrusion here create extrusion and now you can just create a couple of lines going like this and one going like that and then you use this offset and use I don't know something like four centimeter offset and create something that looks like this now you can delete these center lines and use the split element tool to split this and then the trim and extend tool to trim and extend these lines or just to connect them and here you can use line like this do the same thing here and here as well and then just by using trim and extend you kinda connect everything in place and the same thing here okay so once you've done this you can set the material now I would like to use something white and I'm just going to be using the gypsum wallboard I prefer this and just go finish and then go into level 2 and for the depth just change this to that this to that make sure you lock everything and there you go so just go finish model go back into south elevation select this family and then you can just copy it or you can go into level 2 and just copy this around just go into wireframe so you can see these little columns so just go co for copy and copy to here here and just go all the way to the end of the railing okay and now if I go into 3d it looks kinda like this so now if I go here into realistic you can see this is white but the rest of these things are actually kinda wood color so I'm just going to select all of these columns and change their material so just select all the columns go here to materials and finishes open this up and then find that gypsum wallboard that I used for the other one so just go type in go OK and now do the same thing for these beams over here so just search for the material here structural material and let's put the same material so everything's white it looks a lot better okay so once this is completed let's do the actual facade over here and as you can see here I don't know if you can see it if I turn off the shadows maybe it looks okay here you can see it better this kinda this floor slab is going underneath the house but I actually want these walls to go all the way down and to do that you can just select this structural slab go into edit boundary go into level 2 and then by using the pick lines you can pick these inside wall lines and you can also pick this line and then by using trim and extend you can trim this this then use split element for this and then just by using trim and extend again you kinda create something that looks like this and you delete this line and you go finish now if I go into 3d it looks kinda like this and now you just need to select these three surrounding walls and give it a bottom offset that's the height of this floor slab now I know the bot the floor slab is 16 0.666 so I'm just going to make it minus that for this dimension over here so you just need to type in that go apply and there you go so the wall is going all the way down now we need to create a new material so I'm just going to go here to edit type and here I'm just going to go edit structure and I'm going to change this structure to 18 centimeters and insert a new kind of finish that's going to be let's change this to finish 
and this will be two centimeters. So for the inside, I'm going to be using gypsum wallboard so the inside of the house is actually white. But for the outside, we need to create a new material. Now, how do you do that? I'm just going to cancel out of this and go OK, apply, OK. So we have kind of this default material, but we need to create our new material. And for that, we need images. So I'm just going to minimize this. And here on desktop, you can see I have this kind of wallboard image. So let's edit it to use it in our project. So I'm just going to go here, right click on this image, go open with, and I'm going to choose Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now, if you have any other type of Photoshop, that's okay. So once I'm in here, you can see now I have to change this. So I'm going to first change it by kind of adding a bit of color. So I'm just going to add a photo filter over here. And if you don't have the, this adjustments dialog, you just go here to window and find adjustments and check it. So here it's kind of orange, but I actually want to use blue. So I'm going to go here. And if you remember the, the house that we're using as a model is blue. So I'm just going to crank this all the way up something like this. And that looks quite nice. So I'm just going to save that as image. So just save as a JPEG. Here you go. And let's just name it number one and leave it at high. Okay, now we need to create a bump map that's actually going to create this relief or make it look kind of bumpy and you can see these these lines between the wall boards and it, it will look more realistic. And to create this bump map, we need to make it all black and white. So I'm just going to use black and white filter over everything and we need to crank up the contrast a bit. So just go high contrast and create something that looks like this. Now I'm just going to go file, save as JPEG and let's save this as number two. So this is our bump map. So once this is finished, I'm just going to escape. I'm not going to save changes. And here we have these two images that we're going to use for our material. Now I'm going to jump back into Revit, select this wall, go edit type, edit. And here for our finish, open this up. And now we need to find a wood material that has a bump map. So if I go here to, I don't know, just wood, you can see we have this relief pattern, but we don't have bump map. And then the same thing is if you go with oak or whatever. But if you go here with this wood shake, you can see here we have bump and that's what we need. So I'm just going to load this into project, right click, duplicate so we can use it. And let's just call it, I don't know, finish. So this is just our finish material and go to appearance and now we can change this material. So first let's just change the image. So I'm going to go here go to desktop, find image number one, open it up and we get this. Now I'm just going to change the scene to wall so we can check the scale. Now this looks way too tiny and let's turn off the bump. Yeah. So if I go here and open up this edit image dialog where it is. Okay. Well, the actual dimensions are quite fine, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Now let's add the bump map, so just check the bump map and click here to change the image. So I'm just going to go to desktop, number two, open it up, and this is what we get. Make sure that the scale is set at the same dimensions as your image, so just go done, apply, OK, OK, apply, OK, and here you go. Now we have this image loaded in. And as you can see, it looks quite realistic because of the bump map. Okay, so now we need to add those kind of corner elements as you remember. And we're going to do them through architecture, wall, and you have this wall sweep and wall relief. So if I go wall sweep, I'm just going to place it vertically and you, you can place it like that. So you just go finish and you get something that looks like this. Now this doesn't really look like something we want. So I'm just going to go here to Revit and I'm going to create a new profile. So I'm just going to go here to new family and let's find a profile family. So let's search for profile, profile reveal. Okay, so we don't have, so we can use this reveal pattern and you just go open 
and here you have this now this is wall face and you actually need to model this on this side of the wall so I'm just going to go to align and if this perhaps doesn't make sense but don't worry it will make sense in a moment so I'm just going to create something that looks like this and let's leave this at 20 millimeters or 2 centimeters and this let's do at 60 or even 70 yeah and now let's kind of make this go all the way here kind of like that extend it go create a line and connect it like this and using trim and extend connect this make sure this is at 20 and this is at 70 so just 70 okay so this looks like a corner element so just go load into project and if we just select this here wall sweep and if you go into edit type and you have this profile if you change the default to family and go apply ok you get something that looks like this and again I'm just going to go back to edit type and change the material so the material will be the same gypsum wall board that we use for any white material go apply ok and you get something like this and if you flip this it goes this way now where you put this if I select this wall over here you can see it kinda the beginning is over here and the ending is kinda here so the ending contains the corner on this side but it doesn't contain the corner on this side so you need to make sure that you place this wall sweep on the side where the wall contains the corner oops I kinda changed that so now you just need to move this in place so you just go all the way to the end and place it here and then you go into 3D and that looks quite alright so let's create a new one so just go wall sweep vertical and for the other one you need to go here place it select it go into level 1 and then just slide it all the way to the corner because this wall contains this corner and first let's flip it to the other side and then let's just put it in place okay again repeat the same thing for this corner and this wall contains this corner so let's just go wall wall sweep vertical place it modify level one you just flip it and slide it here and the same thing for this corner which is contained by this wall so just go here wall wall sweep vertical place it modify and then you just slide it in place and flip it here okay so once this is finished let's just do the windows and finish up this tutorial so I'm just going to select this window over here and let's give it a kind of white outline so first I'm just going to go to edit type and for the, this material anywhere where I have this sash wood I'm going to change this to gypsum wallboard so just find gypsum wallboard go OK select it control C and then just paste it here go apply OK so it kinda changed its white and you can do the same thing for this over here window so you just place it apply OK and the same thing for the door you just place it here instead of cherry and we have a white door so let's do that kinda outline of the window this window already has the framing but as you remember from the picture it kinda has the framing and then a white outline so I'm just going to open up this family go edit family and here I'm just going to go to views let's find floor plans and elevations so let's go into floor plan and let's create another reference plane so just RP place it here make sure this is at I don't know something like 20 millimeters and lock it in place by putting a dimension over here and you just lock that in place you go to exterior elevation and you go create extrusion pick a plane pick this face and then you create an extrusion going like this and you make sure each side is locked in place then you create another one with an offset of I don't know something like 10 or 100 millimeters 
that makes sense yeah something like that and then just by using dimensions you can kind of lock it in place so you place one here lock it place one here lock it and the same thing for these other two and you lock it you go finish you change the material to gypsum wallboard you go into floor plan go finish and then when it extends you just attach to this and lock it in place and load into project make sure it's at project one override and there you go so it has kind of this outline and this window got that outline as well because it's the same family okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial it's a long one but i hope it was quite useful thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day